Good Sunday morning, brothers and sisters. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of God's might, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Ephesians 1, 19 through 20. In Christ, you have all the power you will ever need. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the great hope of believers. Because he lives, we will live also. Peter said we have been born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away. 1 Peter 1, 3-4 We and what we have are protected by God's power. In Ephesians 1, Paul draws two comparisons. The first is between the power God demonstrated in the resurrection and ascension of Christ and the power he demonstrates on behalf of every believer. That power is described as God's working, strength, and might. Together, these synonyms emphasize the greatness of God's power, which not only secures our salvation, but also enables us to live godly lives. The second comparison is between our Lord's resurrection and ascension and ours. The grave couldn't hold him, nor can it hold us. Satan himself couldn't prevent Christ's exaltation, nor can he prevent us from gaining our eternal inheritance. In Christ, you have all the power you will ever need. For evangelism, you have the gospel itself, which is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1.16 For difficult times, you have the assurance that the surpassing greatness of God's power is at work in you. 2 Corinthians 4.7 For holy living, you have God himself at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure, Philippians 2.13. No matter how weak or ill-prepared you may be at times or feel at times, realize God is able to exceeding abundantly beyond all that you ask or think according to the power that works within you, Ephesians 3.20. So keep striving according to that power, but do so with the confidence that ultimately God will accomplish his good in your life. Maranatha.